Hello, welcome back to your new lesson. This is second lesson of a MATLAB 2018 beginner's tutorial. MATLAB is an abbreviation for Matrix Laboratory, while other programming languages mostly works with the numbers one at a time, but MATLAB is designed to operate primarily on whole matrices and arrays. So here we are talking about the matrix and the arrays. That's mean in this tutorial, we will be learning more about matrix and arrays. All MATLAB variables are a multidimensional arrays, no matter what type of data you store. Suppose that if you want to create an array, then you can separate elements with either a comma or a space. Suppose that if you write a is equal to 1, space 2, space 3, space 4, and if you again close it with a bracket and just hit the enter now you will see here a is equal to 1 2 3 and 4 and here it is separated by comma and as you can notice here it is a single row and the four column matrix either you can say this is row vector or you can say it is a matrix but with a single row only to create a matrix that has multiple rows you need to separate that rows with the semicolon Suppose that if you type a is equal to 1 space 2 space 3 space 4 now you can put here a semicolon and then you can put here 4 space 5 space 6 space 7 and now you can close this and if you print it you will see here there is a matrix that is 2 by 4 that's when there is a 2 row and a 4 column another way to create a matrix you another way to create a matrix to use your function there are many functions available to create a matrix such as ones zeros and the rand so let's first work with the zeros suppose that if you want to create a 5 by 1 column matrix of zeros then you can just simply write z is equal to zeros and 5 comma 1 so here it will print a matrix of zeros that has a five rows and a single column. So in this single column, in this single column it has uh, all the zeros. That's why it is known as a zeros matrix. In a similar way you can operate it as a ones matrix. Suppose that O, O is equal to ones and then five comma one. So it will print here all ones that is five rows and a single column and in a similar way you can perform it uh, in a matrix format and here suppose that if you write five cross five it will print a matrix that will have a five rows and a five column and matrix uh, can perform a simple uh, mathematical operation and uh, MATLAB allows you to process all of the values in a matrix using a single arithmetic operator or a function. Suppose that if you store this value O, if you if you uh, add some value in this O variable, let's say add 10 in this O variable, now you will see here answer will be assigned with the 11. That's when 10 has been added into all variables. And in a similar way, if you want to if you want to generate a, a trigonometric uh, matrix so you can just here write a sign and let's say O now the sign O would create here trigonometric trigonometric uh, matrix and uh, as you can notice here sign O means sign of each of these values so the sign sorry each of these values that is the one and the one means that is one radian And suppose that if you want to do a magic matrix, then you can just create a matrix, okay, with a magic value. Let's write here 5. So it will print here a matrix, okay, a 5 cross 5 matrix. And now suppose that if you want to do a transpose, then you can just transpose it with a single column. So let's say T is equal to A and S. And here put a single quote so now it will 
do a transpose so the transpose means row will be converted into column and the column will be converted into row and if you match here you will see here these diagonal elements should be same but these elements should be interchanged together so here you see here 24 is changed with the 23 and this 24 is changed with the 24 that's when these two variables has been reflected and these two variables will be changed and if you notice here it is a 4 and here it is a 1 and in a similar way you can perform a standard matrix multiplication which computes the inner products between rows and the columns so that can be done using a multiplication operator for example suppose that if you want to perform a product so the p p is equal to let's say t and then multiplied by i and v of t okay that is the inverse of t so the t multiplied by inverse of t that will be whole wedge a diagonal matrix So instead of diagonal matrix, it will be always an identity matrix in fact. Since it is a computerized system, so in a computerized system there is a little uh, uh, of variation into the computation that is known as the resolution problem. That's why there are some values which is not perfectly, I mean a single digit at the zero but it is somehow giving plus and the minus that is because of the format okay so suppose that if we do a format here format long then what it will do now it will print these uh, values into a long format now let's print it once again and if you notice here now it has printed these values into very long format and now we can change this format into a shorter format so that uh, it can uh, print it very nicely so format is equal to sort and now let's once again do this operation now you will see here it has returned to the default value so the format affects only the display of numbers but it does not affect the computations or saving of any of these variables so in the, this workspace you can see all the variables has been saved since we do not have any files that's why there is no files visible into our current folders and the matrix operator for the multiplication division and the power each have a corresponding array operators that operates element wise for example if you want to raise all the values with the power of 2 then what you can do you can write here the t2 t2 is equal to t2 dot and power of Two. so what it will do it will do a square of each elements okay so if you see here a square of each elements of the t let's print here t once again so here you see 17 17 square is 289 and 23 square is 529 5 square is 25 So here I am going to stop this lesson and uh, please do not forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more video tutorials. Bye bye. Have a nice day.